finishing up on page 14. We are starting with complementary angles at 90 degrees. Again, a reminder that we're looking at statements that we can make about something. And then we're going to write down the reason that we are allowed to make that statement. So complementary angles add to be 90 degrees. Well, that is the definition of complementary angles. Ran out of space a little bit there. Same idea with the sup supplementary here. Um, supplementary angles add to be 180 degrees. Well, I'm going to do better in writing here, but the definition. The spelling there. The definition of supplementary. angles angles that are a linear pair are supplementary well linear pair postulate is the reason your geometry teacher might use theorem on that I don't know, I like the linear pair, starts with P and postulate starts with P. So um, hopefully I'm not wrong on that. If we have two adjacent angles, the sum of the two smaller angles will equal the larger angle. Well, that is the angle addition postulate. Same idea here, I believe, on the next one here. Given two points A and C, the third point B lies on line segment AC. The distances between the points satisfy the equation AB plus BC equals AC. That is a wordy way of saying the segment addition. Postulate. Close to being done here. Segments of the same measure are congruent and vice versa. This is the one that we use a lot and it sometimes seems redundant. So we're going to practice this one a lot, but this is definition of congruent segments. Almost the same thing on this next one. Angles of the same measure are congruent and vice versa. Well, this time it's going to be the definition of congruent angles. If two geometric objects, segments, angles, triangles, or whatever, are congruent slash equal, you can replace the one with the other. Well, that is the substitution process. And in fact, it's substitution property. I'll say that a little bit better. And then this last one here. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. This is the transitive property. And again, 
Um, other geometry teachers may have a little bit different uh, approach to this, but what I'd like to say is because we have B here and because we have B here, we're going to transport A over to C. And transport kind of sounds like transitive. So that's how, again, a goofy way for Mrs. Danhoff to remember the transitive property.